Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad. Welcome to Rad Kutsarot, and uh, this is going to be a uh, general tarot reading for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Capricorn Rising. Uh, weekly tarot reading, March, uh, March, April first to April sixth, two thousand and nineteen. Uh, and while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you that uh, this is going to be a general reading for Capricorn star sign and uh, for that reason the reading is going to resonate in a different way uh, and is as well is going to regard into different things for uh, every single different Capricorn. But if you want uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me uh, through Tarot and to give you uh, the prediction for its future, that is a subject of a private reading and uh, for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. So that being set aside, going to the general uh, reading for the Capricorns week, the first card that we do have for you guys, that is going to be the Five of Pentacles, followed by the second card, which is uh, the negative approach towards the situation. This is going to be the Page of Pentacles. Then uh, what we do have, it is the positive approach toward the situation that is going to be the uh, Knights of Pentacles. And the last one that is going to be the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, we do have the Knight of Wands. So quite a lot of pentacles here. Uh, the Five of Pentacles is the first one, then it is the Page of Pentacles, the second, the Knight of Pentacles is the third, and the last one, this is going to be the Knight of Wands. So it seems that this week is going to be related with your stability and in general with your uh, material comfort, which is going to be disrupted, unfortunately. Here with the Five of Pentacles sitting on the prime position, everybody knows that this card relates to money loss, poverty, but in the grand scheme of things, uh, Five of Pentacles relates to... Uh, difficulties at multiple fronts, difficulties which are making you feel insecure and um, that your place is shaking either uh, career-wise or either relationship-wise that is. But when we talk about Five of Pentacles, one needs to show an, an, uh, how can I place it, a, a very strong mental qualities here, being not falling into despondency, being not falling into desperation as well, but instead, you know, picking themselves up to, um, together, if I may say that way, and being determined to persevere through those um, unse insecure times, okay? The uh, accompanied card that is going to be the Ten of Cups. So the formation that we do have, it is a passive, uh, passive friend. And it seems, guys, that... Um, this is not going to be, uh, how can I place it, that devastating, okay? Uh, yeah, it's going to cause a, a severe uh, amount of uncomfortability and it may throw you off for a couple of days, but in the same time, you are to find positivity in it. And uh, probably you as well is going to be able to maximize out of that positivity. I, I, but I don't want to fool you at all. Uh, it does look like that this, um, this insecurity will emerge exactly where you thought that things are 100% secure. So something that you thought is a rock solid is going to turn out to be extremely, extremely fragile with these cards. And uh, uh, kind of like uh, being at, uh, at the verge of your performance and um, at the top of your, um, of your qualities is going to be required in order to overcome all these small issues that is, which are, however, a lot of them. And it is exactly what's, uh, what causes the disruption here and the sense of, of insecurity as well. But yeah, the cards could relate to money loss, you know, especially for example, if you gave a, gave a loan into someone that you place a great hopes at, you never thought that this person is not going to return back your money. And this week you may uh, kind of like being 
brought to your awareness that this money has this person has no intentions whatsoever to uh, give you back your money and so on and uh, so forth. It's um, the, the, this uh, this week is going to uh, teach you for what it seems not to hold on when way too tight. Uh, to uh, certain structures into uh, into one's life and it's going to teach you Capricorns that uh, you always need to be prepared for the worst. Uh, is this going to be uh, with a very bad outco outcome? I don't believe so really because uh, what we, we do see in the next card it does uh, shed a, a light of improvement here but it will require once again your determination. So the negative approach toward the situation, you know, this thing that you place a great hope that happens, you know, to turn out to be extremely fragile and uh, for some even it, it, it may break. So the page of pentacles here does point to recognize what it is going to cost you at certain stages uh, to sustain yourself into this environment or to resuscitate that specific thing which turns out to be extremely fragile. Here the page manifests itself as a uh, reminder that one needs to always aim for long-term goals instead of trying to waste efforts and resources, you know, to stabilize uh, endeavors, things, relationships, projects and so on and so forth, which cannot be stabilized by a ordinary means or in general it is required a miracle in order those things to be stabilized. Um, in the grand scheme of things the page points that you should not put a devotion into those uh, into those fragile um, fragile uh, things which are turning out and which are causing insecurity but instead you should turn your glance toward the future. It is all that the card is uh, is pointing. The accompanied one that is going to be the two of uh, pentacles. We do have another pentacle here. The uh, combination that forms these couple of cards is passive supporters. And it does look like that regardless of how many angles you try to approach the situation. The situation itself is not going to budge out at all. So to me, to me, really, it does look like that you got to cut your losses and just move on from here. So uh, what, what really does look like uh, Capricorns is that, that this thing happen, uh, happens, all right, which makes your life feeling completely insecure. That is the negative side of the reading. The positive side is that you can't live without this thing at all. And this, uh, this reading, the whole reading is asking you to leave this, uh, this position or this uh, situation, this enterprise, and not trying to, uh, to approach it from a different angle or to reach a, a different conditions. That is displayed by these couple of cards because with, with those couple of cards, maybe you can reach a better term or kind of like a terms where you can um, solidify on whatever it's turning out to be extremely fragile, but they will definitely not going to suit you at all. They may look like they are going to suit you very well at the start, but the more you live into those conditions, the more you are going to recognize that you signed a, a contract with the devil. For example, just to giving you an example here, guys, um, let's say that, uh, I don't know, your, your career or your, your place into your company, it's kind of like shaking and it becomes really, really unstable. And your boss, it's, uh, it does approaches you and tells you that uh, simply they, they, they cannot afford any longer to pay you as much. You know, and if you are to live to, to stay in this job, you have to satisfy for less money. Well, you can agree to that, you know, to keep your job or, you know, you can say, OK, I'm going to find myself another, another job. So it's kind of like striving for a new source of, of stability. It is what that reading is telling you. And at the end, with the Knights of Wands, many sources are going to come around. But that is at the end of the week, should you be determined uh, to uh, seek a, a better position for yourself, but not within the framework of the current situation. 
That leads us to the next card, which is the Knights of Pentacles. So what the Knights of Pentacles points is that you need to recognize what is substantial for yourself, recognizing that this fragile situation is not substantial at all for your lucrivity into your career, for your happiness into your relationship, or for your good terms into your social circle. From there, you know, you have to uh, keep the things very simple, making one step at the time, attending to one thing at the time as well, and whatever actions you exert, it is best if you support them with a great compassion, great amounts of compassion, and as well, huge determination. But for those who are really, really cornered or kind of like this, uh, this fragile thing is something that they counted so much on, uh, this card asks them to take a bit of break. Just take the week off, spend it somewhere among the nature, preferably because the Knights of Pentacles is truly related with nature, so you can recharge your vital energies, and after coming back at the end of the week, you can truly jump into the new, um, new options available here, signified by the Knights of Wands. The accompanied card that is going to be the uh, Temperance for you Capricorns, so formation is uh, passive neutrals, and it looks like that uh, at the start, um, you may not find the right approach. What I mean is that you are to be baffled what is substantial for yourself. But what is the good thing about this card is that you're not going to satisfy with less or you should not satisfy with less in order to... Um, to be more productive. So you will have to go to the extreme demands, you will have to go to the uh, extreme expectations as well. And uh, the way I see these cards, guys, is that even if um, this situation, which turns out to be fragile, could truly diminish your spirit, these cards are asking you not to, uh, not to think the less of yourself. Maybe it is not your fault that this uh, situation turns out to be extremely fragile. Maybe you have deceived yourself that the situation is, um, it's granted and so on and so forth. Uh, this combination here, it does point that it will require some work from your behalf, but uh, the most or the, um, it will require the most a personal belief that one can pull things through even without the means of this uh, fragile thing that turns out or this seemingly solid thing which turns out to be an, an extremely, extremely fragile and that causes problems at multiple fronts making your life in general feeling very, very insecure. So to me, it looks like of this situation where one falls and why people fall down just so they can stand up and become stronger. So that is a hit you will have to take, which ultimately is going to make you a much, much stronger, but only if you just turn your back on it and move on forward with your personal endeavors and uh, personal realization as well. And that ultimately is going to lead you to the Knights of Wands. So the Knights of Wands does represents a, a person which you maybe associate yourself with at the end of the week, a, a very youthful person, very enterprising person, uh, which is uh, constantly striving for everything new. Well, that person could manifest itself as someone who is going to help you or someone who is willing to give you a, a chance in any way or it's willing to risk with you as well. The accompanying card that is going to be the moon card and we are seeing here that through cooperation of uh, with this person at the end of the week it seems that the future will be no longer insecure because the insecurity of the moon gets diminished from the fire of the um, knights of wands what is important here however is that uh, this person is somewhat very inconsistent in a sense of that they jump from one thing to another trying to find uh, the best expression that they have that they can have among the world so it will be best for you if if you follow them and try to explore all of their 
passion, compassion, and um, all of their, or how can I place it, attitudes as well, because uh, there, this person contains a lot of shades. This person is very versatile, and you are to be amazed what kind of a world you are to discover when you cooperate and associate yourself with the Knights of Wands, which is going to make your future stable once again. If that's not a person, guys, then at the end of the week, once you recover yourself from this, uh, from this blow that you will have to take, it will seem that the life will look much more brighter because uh, you are to look at the situation from a positive end. Uh, the very least you are going to know right now how you stand and how you have to tackle with things moving on forward. And that will allow you to have a lot of room to experiment with yourself, with, with your business, for example, with your relationship uh, cycle and life as well. And uh, the good thing with the Knights of Wands and the Moon card is that you are going to find a, a very accurate for oneself um, expression into the world and it is most likely uh, you know you're going to have a you're going to find a, a thing of big interest for you either a person of big interest or a, a job of a big interest and should you present yourself as a, a very versatile person that job it is uh, almost secure for you or it is secure for you or that person of interest it is also secured for you so that is your uh, general weekly tarot reading for april 1st to april 6 2019 capricorns i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it unfortunately um you draw the short stick here, guys. I mean, it's uh, it's it is you that have to take the the hit this uh, this week, at least according to my cards. But don't um, uh, don't fall into despair. You know, one takes a blow just to basically become stronger afterwards. And it seems that what is going to happen with you as well, as long as you don't um, you don't basically try to how can I place it to uh, revitalize. Um, this uh, this uh, thing of fragility, but instead, you know, try to build up something else on its place. Uh, the way you want it, that is, because this is what the Knight of Wands gives you, to build something the way you want it. So that being said, yeah, once again, this was your general tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And as a general reading, it's going to resonate in a different ways and it is going to relate in a, with a different things for every single different Capricorns. But if you want say, a personal reading, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.